Well hey there everybody, welcome back. So over the weekend I did an unboxing of monthly Knife Club's Onyx Level subscription box. This just came in the mail today and this is basically everything else. So on monthly Knife Club there are a ton of different options with what you can order. Uh, there's a standard sub subscription, uh, you know, the subscription, standard subscription, name brand subscription, fixed blade, onyx, the knife and watch, and then they also have a Zippo subscription box. So in the standard subscription, you have <clears throat> the standard, like, just starter, excuse me. So it is the standard knife's starter subscription, which is $10.00. You have the Standard Knives Standard Subscription, which is $20, and then the Two-Time Dual Knives Standard Subscription. That's a lot of S-words there. Starting to get a little tongue-tied. Now, one thing I will mention, shipping and handling is not included in these prices, so you are going to pay a little bit of extra, but it is what it is. So, in the Standard Plan tier, I got the Two-Time Dual Knives Standard Subscription for $21. So literally we're talking about the difference between the standard and the two times the dual is a dollar. So yeah, I'm going to get the this the <laughs> the two time dual knife standard subscription. Um, I think that the regular $10 kind of probably is going to be a throwaway for a lot of people, but the the dual seems to be pretty cool. Um, as far as descriptors they say uh, two brand new stainless steel knives, spring assisted in most cases, pocket knives each month. Um, that's about it. That's about it. They don't name brands or anything like that. Now, on top of any knife subscription, aside from the Onyx, you can also get gear added on. You have the Advanced, um, the Premium, and then the Ultimate subscription, which I didn't get any of those. The the advanced start it's like 50 bucks, the premium's 100, the ultimate's 150. So I wasn't really interested. So then, let's move on to the name brand. So the name brand again has three tiers. You have your starter subscription for 25, your standard subscription for 35, and then your tier 2 subscription for 55. I went with the tier 2. Now the tier 2's uh description um, let's see here. So, Tier 2 is similar to the $35 name brand knife standard plan. However, it comes with a higher end knife. The brands you will receive are expanded to Real Steel, Artisan Cutlery, uh, Best Tech Root, Cutler, or Kaiser Cutlery, and many more. So, they're increasing the, uh, the different knife brands as well as giving you a higher quality knife. So, that's the one I got, the $55 dollar one. The $35 might also be cool. The $25 could be cool. It just all depends. But again, we got the $55. Now, prices change a little bit when you talk about the other subscriptions. I'm sorry this is going on forever. Um, if you do want the gear, it's like $10 more in the name brand <clears throat> per tier. Then finally, we have the fixed blade subscription, which is $45. There's no tiers to that. It's just like, here's a fixed blade. 45 bucks, give me money, away we go. And then again, you can get the um, other plans. So that's what we have. And we're going to open it. This should be a total of, you know, four knives in here. And I am super excited. Oh, okay. Well, fine. At least they're taping it, trying to make the box secure. All right. All right, I'm assuming these are probably our standard. We've got, I'm assuming that is our, uh, oh, geez, I'm just knocking everything around. Sorry, guys, I hit the camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming, again, probably dual standard or whatever. God, it's just too many, too many words. I can't even think anymore. I'm imagining that's our dual, this is our name brand, and then I'm assuming that this is our uh, fixed blade. We do have a card here, monthly knife club card, uh, which is only for our tier two. 
which is uh, fine. We'll look at that here in just a second. We'll, we'll kind of leave that off to the side. And uh, yeah, let's start unboxing. We'll start with our dual standard here. And what I'm going to do is at the end of the video, I will go through and I will sort of uh, go through some of the prices that I find as well as do some comparisons to our Onyx level box as well. I'll give you a sort of a full view on what I kind of think about my monthly knife club. I've never heard of, oh my god, no. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> it's all rainbowed. Oh, look at that. What a cute little knife. Oh, centered really nicely though. Uh, okay, deployment's uh, pretty good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh, it's so shiny. There's a little bit of wobble here in the lockup. Um, And, it, and it's funny, the close seems very, the, the open's good, the close seems a little bit strange. It almost feels like I'm breaking it a little bit, because like, I mean this is kind of different, but like this is this is the um, uh, Kershaw Cryo one, uh, which is assisted, but it has their speed safe, which is probably one of the best, but when you close that, it actually feels okay. So yeah, this is, um, this is interesting, but let's, uh, Let's let's see if it cuts. Let's see if it does this thing. Is it dual edge? No. Okay, that's dull. God, the whole thing feels kind of dull. Yeah. 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 That's not uh, that's not doing. That's not. Yeah, it's just ripping paper. <laughs> is it worth is it worth playing with some cordage? No. Okay. So this is this is uh, not only a super dorky looking knife, um, but it is dull. And our centering has moved pretty severely uh, since we first <clears throat> opened it. The open's nice. It's a dork knife. I don't know. It's just dorky. It looks it looks dumb. Sorry if you like that. Uh, it is what it is. I'm going to say a big. <clears throat> Big no -sery bob on that one. Well, let's let's hope for a little bit better. I can't even use that to cut the next box. <laughs> let's see if this this is any better. Again, same thing, Premier Edge. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Reasonably good. I mean, it's a little, a little off center, but not bad. Out of the box. Okay. Pirate skulls. Plastic. It's not a very good clip. Uh, let's let's try the open. That's that's all right. Uh, okay. It has a bit more. Uh, this might sound stupid, but it, it feels a little bit better closing this knife <clears throat> than, than that one. That one just feels like I'm breaking it. This one, okay, that's that's okay. Um, pretty simple uh, blade, you know. I, that I hate this clip. This clip is is not very comfortable uh, when you actually put it in the hand. It's just so big and uh, really weird, weirdly shaped. And it is locked into one position. You can't put it anywhere else on the knife. Um, but if that weren't there, I mean, the finger grooves are nice. It, it's not a bad feeling knife, aside from that stupid clip. Uh, well, okay, it's it's trying. It's trying its best. Yeah, it's it's not. Let's see if I can maybe start. It. Okay, all right. So the bottom. There we go. Yeah. There's a little bit of an edge on this bad boy. It just starts down here. <laughs> it's, it's just not up towards the top. So towards the top. Yeah. Okay. Maybe there was just a little burr or something. I don't know. Okay. It has an edge. Let's see if it um, if it cuts cord. Unlike its little 
little brother down there. Doesn't want to pull through, but okay. Cuts okay. That's that's not bad. Let's try to pull through down here. Nah. So it it, it cuts reasonably clean. Um, it just you know it's definitely sharper here, but I think with a with a decent hone or something, that one would be it would be okay. You could use that. It's just such a dorky skull knife. <clears throat> This is something that I would expect at like a swapper's day or something like that. And uh, it would not be my, my preferred uh, knife. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say not super impressed with the standard. I'm actually going to move my order and we're going to look at this uh, right edge Damascus blade knife. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not a huge Damascus steel person. Not because I don't like it, but because I never want to use them. And I know that the, a lot of the pictures showed, you know, Damascus steel knives. And I was like, but I don't want one because I won't want to use it. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got. 45 bucks, if you guys remember. We have a sheath. Little, you know, leather sheath. Don't eat that. Uh, okay. Yeah, it smells good. I love the smell of leather. Some uh, tooling, which looks like uh, just like a little gear. It's not very good. Um, this is fine though. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like a bad sheath. This button is okay. Branded right edge. I don't know, it could be all right. Let's uh, let's check out our knife, which is thoroughly swaddled. And, okay, got a tip guard. Okay. Well, it's pretty. It is a very pretty knife. Dirty, very dirty knife as well. That's an interesting scaling. Um, it, does it feel good in the hand? It's definitely a handful, because like <clears throat> it's it's kind of a it's kind of a weird grip. <clears throat> Cause like naturally, you know, you kind of want to choke up here and, and it just gives you this big bulbous part here. But if you get the bulbous part, I don't know. I don't know. This is an odd knife. I don't, I don't really know what to think about it. <laughs> like I know that's kind of lame, but it's interesting. Yeah, a little oily, not too bad. It's interesting. But I wouldn't necessarily call it comfortable, but this is this is a very interesting handle. It's it's a it's a nice looking knife, but it is a knife, right? Will it cut? Okay. Yeah, sort of. Well, let me... Kind of. I mean, when it gets an angle, it likes. <laughs> when it gets an angle, it likes, it cuts. Um, it probably needs just a, a wee bit of work. Let's try a little uh, <clears throat> little cordage. We'll do a pull, uh, attempt to pull. Okay, yeah, it doesn't want to pull. Let's try a cut. Wow, cuts very smoothly. Look at that. If it focuses, look, look at that. That's, that's a smooth, that's as smooth a cut as I've had on anything. So it cuts it, you know, I don't know. It's not a bad edge, I guess. Probably could just use a little bit of work, maybe hone. I don't know. I, I don't know. What's what would be the purpose of this knife for me? Okay. Definitely wants to come right out of that sheath. 
and uh, you know, little belt loop here. <clears throat> so kind of standard belt loop, but nothing you can, you can't pop this off, so you're going to have to feed your belt through it. Definitely a little wobbly, could be a bit better, but you know, this is okay. It, it you know, it looks very rustic. I would say for 45 bucks, I'm not necessarily disappointed in it for that price. So yeah, there we go. There's the, uh, what was this again? I, I dropped the box, the right edge Damascus blade knife. So there we go. That's our $45 fixed blades here. Let's get rid of some of our paper shreds. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, finally, we'll get back to this, back to our card here. We have our knife of the month. Uh, knife of the month. What am I talking about? Monthly Knife Club card. And tier two name brand knife from Boker, the Gemini NGA Coyote. Uh, let's see. While slightly on the larger side, Boker Plus, okay. Exceptional ergonomics, a lightweight overall build, handles equipped with coyote around scales, textured patches and mosaic grippiness. Okay, D2, D2 steel, okay, that's cool. Um, 3.9 ounces, blade length three and a half, overall length 8.25, blade material D2, handle material FRN, and we are we have an assumed value. And this is one thing that I do like. They do give you a, a good value range, which isn't just um, isn't just your MSRP. So like 109 would be your MSRP, but 82.46 is the the least that they were able to find it at the time. And I'll check around for our summary video, but I, I, you know, I don't know. If it's around that, then this is a great, great deal, you know, seemingly a great deal. Now, our Onyx was also a Boker Plus, definitely a nice Boker. And, you know, I, this is my only, my second ever Boker. This one has a little case, a <laughs> little carry case. That's funny. Uh, cards, two of the same cards, maybe different languages, I guess. This is an interesting little case. And we have our knife, I am assuming. And it's little paper. Okay, look at that. Interesting, grippy. Very rubbery. No assist nub. Uh, let's see. Centering is good. That's, ooh, wow, okay. That was a nice open from a thumb, thumb position. Look at that. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Smooth black coating on the blade. Uh, I don't like this clip and you can't move it, unfortunately. It's huge and I definitely feel it uh, under, my, under my hand as I grip. I definitely feel it. I think if it weren't there, it'd be a very comfortable grip. It's definitely for me a full-handed grip, and you're not you're not gonna lose lose purchase on this too because it is a nice rubbery grip. Um, but yeah, I, I do not like I do not like that clip. Let's get another sheet of paper here, and we'll uh, we'll see if this edge is gonna do anything. Okay. Yep. Good. Look at that. That one wasn't good. <laughs> oh, geez. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's got a reasonably good edge. Now it's sort of failing me a little bit. So, never mind. Yeah, I don't know. Did I hit a burr or something there? Just seems like all the knives in here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe something just stuck on there. It, 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 could, it could use... Now, I, I'm going to say this at, at bare minimum needs like a quick hone or something like that or... Yeah, it cuts through, but then it just, eh, it could be better. Let's try our, we'll do a pull, and then we'll do a slice. Ooh. Takes significant energy 
to do that. Let's do a slice. Not much there, and uh, you know, pretty clean. So on the pull, it, it does have, require a little bit more force, but um, okay, so it's a very smooth action with the thumb, extremely smooth. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of these grips. I think that the grips are fine, but I think they're a little bit big. I hate this clip. I could probably look at maybe getting it another clip, but I really think that the clip is bringing it down. Um, the action is smooth. The blade is okay, probably needs a little bit of hand honing. The centering, it's kind of hard to see there, but the centering seems to have held up okay uh, to this point. Uh, do a little No movement there, lock is held, centering is still good. So, what, what, what do I want to say here? I don't know. Would I pay $82 for this knife? No, I wouldn't pay $82 for this knife. Now, if this knife came with a different grip material, you know, I'd probably be happier because that is a smooth action. It is a super duper smooth action. Um, Look at that. From a thumb position, that is, it, it requires zero pressure, which can be good and bad as a pocket carry, but I think that that's, the action on that's sweet. The grip is fine. I'm sure there are people that would really like this, but I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of the, uh, of, of that grippy, and like I said, this, this stupid, stupid clip. And I know there are some of you out there who like tip up, uh, and this will not do tip up. Only tip down. So, yep, Boker Gemini. So, I'm going to go grab my Onyx knife and then we will sit down and we will compare our tiers here and, you know, kind of see what, what value we really discern. And if we, uh, if we even want to continue with any of these uh, particular boxes. So, I will be back in just a minute. All right, guys, I took a moment to sort of consider everything um, from Monthly Knife Club. Now, as I've kind of went through in our Onyx video and then in the body of this video, we have gotten several tiers here. We've explained those tiers. Now, this is just final thoughts. Our dual standard, which is two of the standard knife spring-assisted Stainless steel knives, 21 bucks. This is a throwaway tier for me. Both Premier Edge, this knife is garbage. It opens up okay, but it is, it had no edge. It's close up is weird. It is continuing to go further and further off center and the blade is twisting. It's, it's leaning, it's twisting when it actually goes back in to the body. This is a garbage knife, sorry. This knife is a gimmick knife with a reasonably okay blade and a decent flipper. Good lock up and, and you know, it cuts okay. Not great, but could be honed down. It is remade, it is remain centered so that's okay but it has the goofiest plastic pirate skull grips and a really really uncomfortable uh, clip this is not it's not a great knife it is okay so for $21 plus shipping what I get this or any of the standard tier knife knives again? The answer is solidly no, I wouldn't. Personally, I wouldn't waste your time. You're going to be looking for a diamond in the rough and I just don't think it's there. As far as prices, it's really hard to narrow these down and I wasn't able to find exact matches, but you know, the what, it, what again was this? I keep forgetting, Premier Edge. I've seen them anywhere from like, you know, five bucks to eight, maybe ten dollars, all over the place. So realistically, did I get my money's worth? I don't really think so. Especially considering this knife was in there. 
This is garbage. So I knew that that was potentially going to be a throwaway tier. I did it anyway. It's fine. Would I recommend it to you? No. The fixed blade tier. Right edge Damascus steel knife. Now I've been doing a little looking around and I was able to find this knife without this work done on the handle. Okay? Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works has this knife in stock and at least by the pictures it looks like there was no work to the handle done for $23.88 $23.88 this was a $45 knife plus shipping and handling that was the tier and the more I looked at it the more I started to realize how poor the finishing is. See the brass, how much thinner it is on this side than this side? They're not lined up well. It's kind of hard to catch on the camera. I mean, it, it's, it's easier to see in live, in person. They're off. There's no line, centering line there. And you can kind of see, but this brass bolster is uh, separating from the side of the knife and the wood is not even up to the brass there is a gap in there this knife was finished poorly very poorly in my opinion now just out of the box not looking at it too closely oh that's cool that's a cool little finish obviously Damascus steel is a selling point and it is a full tang knife. For me, this is cool and I and I do like it in a way. I like the look. I don't like the handle. It it doesn't feel very good to have this in your hand. And I what do they call this a hunter, hunter's blade or something like that? I don't, you know, and, and listen, you guys, I, I've echoed this before. I'm not like the knife expert, but I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do with this blade. Like, I feel like it should be longer or, I don't know, something different. I, I mean, I could see where I could use this blade. I mean, but a hunting blade? I don't know. There are just knives that I would choose above this. So, for me... Is this knife, for me, worth $45? No, it's not. As a matter of fact, I can get it cheaper from Smoky Mountain. So that, would I recommend the fixed blade tier? I think that's inconclusive. But from what I can tell, it looks like this is going to be a flash in the pan tier without much real substance. Here take a Damascus steel blade. It'll be great. But I personally wouldn't recommend it to anyone. Then we have the name brand knife tier two and we got this Boker. Um, the Boker Gemini, excuse me. This is a extremely nice actioned flipper. I mean, I know we don't have the flipper in the back, but that takes no effort there. This is a nice knife. The action is great. It feels good in the hand, except for this dang clip. Um, I know why a lot of people go uh, tip, uh, tip up. Some of it is for comfort. Some of it is for comfort. Um, but I mean, for example, one that I carry quite a bit that is just, I mean, you could switch it to, to tip up, but I just have it tipped down is this Kershaw cryo, uh, cryo. I don't notice that clip there. It's there, but I don't notice it as much. I don't know why I just don't, but I, but on this knife, I have the option to move it. I got this knife 
for less than $30. Less than $30. Speed Safe Assisted Super Smooth with the option to change that uh, change your clip sharp out of the box less than thirty dollars for Boker you're kinda of playing or paying not playing paying for a name but the action on this is so darn good it's a thick knife but it is well made the centering it's hard to pick up there because the blades black but it's good the action the centering I don't like the grips though I've come to grips with I'm not liking the grips it's rubberized it's fine I get it it's okay I'm not a big fan of that I would prefer something else uh, but I understand the reasoning this personally would be a knife that I would probably toss in like a bag somewhere just to have but I wouldn't carry this in my pocket and I have some longer knives, some knives this size that I do carry that are unobtrusive. This in my back pocket of my jeans is not happening. But I like the action. I like the blade. It's not bad. It's a good knife. But you don't have the option, at least, I mean, I guess you could make the option to move this giant clip, which just isn't very comfortable. Personally, I'm probably going to take this clip off and throw it in a bag. I'm just going to throw it in a bag, and this will just be a bag knife without a clip, and I'll be perfectly happy with that. So is the $55 Tier 2 subscription box, name brand subscription box Tier 2, worth it? Well, that's, I think so. I think so. Uh, it's a bit subjective, but I do think so. Um... I have found the. Uh, I didn't find this exact knife anywhere right now, and maybe you guys have, but there are a couple of the Gemini NGA assisted folding knife um, with the Coyote Brown, but they have the VG10 blade as opposed to the D2. So maybe the D2 got phased out and the VG10 is what they're doing now. I don't know. Um, but Knife Center has uh, this with the VG10 blade for $82.46. Uh, who is this? Um, is this Blade HQ? Uh, this might be Blade HQ, but has the same um, same blade, but again with the VG10. They had it on sale for $69.99, but it's out of stock. And I don't know how long it's been out of stock, but it's been out of stock. So. I can't really count that price because it's not available. It's not available. So I don't want to say that that's very fair. So basically price wise, I'm showing exactly what they showed on the card, which is 8246 to 109. 109 being the max retail price. So is the Boker Gemini in the tier 2 worth it? Yes, I actually do think that this could be a very solid tier. I really do. So maybe that is your entrant tier, but it's up to you. Now let's move on to the Onyx. I know we kind of uh, went through the Onyx already, so I'm not going to go crazy about this because I already explained it in a video for that. The Excalibur 1 carbon fiber. Uh, I had been playing around with the with the thing with the flipper up there, which is still not my preferred. I, sometimes I can get it, and sometimes I'm you know, <laughs> it's just, it just is what it is. But it's a very super smooth knife, very light, carbon fiber body, um, great lockup, extremely sharp out of the box, extremely pretty knife. I love that 3D-esque look to the carbon fiber. It is super comfortable. The clip is unobtrusive, even in that, uh, the point down, but you can, again, move it to point up if you want. It stays locked. The centering has, has been good on this. It's just a, no, I mean, no, no, it's good. It's good. I, I, I didn't remember if this one, if I had had to, oh, you know what? I did have to mess with this a little bit. See there? Sometimes getting a hold of that, that top flipper is not as easy as it looks. I don't know. The jimping helps, but sometimes it's not as easy. But you can really, 
really easily get it with your thumb too. So it's 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 okay to deploy. I would prefer a flipper. That would have been great. Is this knife worth it? I think so. Yeah. 164.25 uh, that they had mentioned here is basically what you're finding it for. So again, for the 119, yes, by pure money standards, yes, it is worth it. And I think it is a slick knife. Maybe it would be cool with the flipper, but it's good steel. It's nice and light. It's like that gentleman's, you know, Bond James Bond gentleman's jacket knife. So it might be a little pretentious for some people, but, it, but it's good. It is a good knife. Um, now, the, the comparison, like... It really, I think the question comes down is, hey Dave, should I get the name brand or should I get the Onyx? Well, listen, if you are wanting to spend some serious money on a knife, yeah, go with the Onyx. But if you're not ready for that, I think that the name brand is going to cover a lot of basis for you, and there's three tiers of it. You can go and get a cheaper tier. You don't have to do the $55 tier. I just think that that's potentially where you're going to get the best knives. And at least just from, from this particular one, yes, we did get our money out of, uh, we got our money out of this tier, I think. Again, I'm not a huge, uh, there are some things that I would change about this knife, but it's really good. It is a nice knife. I like it. Um, but the other tiers, I, I really don't see the value. I don't see the value based upon my interaction here. But the Onyx, yes, it is worth it. They pick out really good knives. The name brand, tier two, from what I can see, it is worth it. The rest, I'm just gonna say no. And maybe it might be uh, interesting to try the other name brand tiers to see what's kind of going through with them, but just like put the line here and move all these, I just don't, I just don't think that this is gonna be where it's at long term. Uh, so anyway, there we go. And Monthly Knife Club, monthly subscription box. You can check links down below if you want. Um, I was actually, I think I pulled it up here. So they also have like a sister site called USA Knife Club. You can also check these people out, th or this side of the thing out. This is all USA Knives. Just they're, they're made in the US. I'll be honest with you. I really don't know if this is going to be good enough, but I'm almost thinking about trying the USA Knife Club. But to be honest, I've been pretty pleased with at least the Onyx, so, and the, yeah, I, I'm, I am okay with the tier two. But anyway, USA Knife Club, monthly Knife Club, maybe check them out, see what you think. Um, again, check the link down below if you want to go and, and take a look at them, it's up to you. But again, my recommendation start with the name brand and move up, don't move down. I don't think it's worth it. So at least based upon what I got. They might get you back the next month, I don't know, but I don't like taking the L, so. Anyway, that was Monthly Knife Club. This was kind of the complete long review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your thoughts are though. I know that all of you have different thoughts maybe than I do, and that's cool. Let me know what you thought. I would really like to hear from you, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.